Welcome everybody to episode three of Tom Moore's Beyond the Bowl. My dog just looked at me like, what was that voice? I'm back and I got a very special treat for you guys today. Special K with real strawberries. An actual cereal. Back at it. First foray back into the cereal game. It's like a, it's a balmy like 90 right now. I got a nice sheen of sweat. I figured I was craving something a little sweet to kind of curb my appetite after I just ate a big burrito, but I was still a little hungry. <clears throat> also today we're going beyond the bowl with, uh, with a, uh, a mug. I personally just think cereal tastes best out of a mug. Um, you know, it is what it is. This is my Town & Country Public Library mug. Interesting story behind this mug is uh, I worked at the library when I was like, uh, you know, in high school or whatever, and there was a summer reading program, and, you know, I did it, and the prizes were like a beach towel, a tote bag and a, a mug, none of which I had any particular use for as like a 17 year old, but I said, I'll take the mug. It was the last mug. Now I've had this mug for over 10 years, probably 13 years. And uh, now that I say that, it's probably gonna shatter while I'm doing the dishes, uh, but it's like my favorite mug. Um, I'm drinking some Kirkland brand oat milk. Also, I don't know if you noticed, I got that big fat Costco box came with two fat sacks, a special K in there. Um, that Costco life, you know, gotta do it. So, uh, I kind of like to, you know, I don't know what you all do with your milk when you're pouring the cereal. I kind of like to see the, you know, I like to see the cereal kind of, uh, get a little loft, get a little rising up from the milk, you know. Sometimes that's too much. But Special K is a particularly crunchy cereal, so I find that it needs an ample pour. Mm. Mm. You hear that? I know you all been missing that crunch. Those first couple episodes, you know, I was just kind of getting back into it. Today, this was totally impromptu. I just said, you know what? People out there, they're hurting. They don't know what the fuck's going on. People, they need something to depend on. And if that's me crunching on this cereal, then then here I am for you. Mm. I always found it interesting they call this red berries. Like, it's strawberries but they're just like red berries. And then they say with the real strawberries and it's kind of like, well, it just struck me as a little odd. If it was like strawberry, raspberry, whatever other red berry I could understand, but I don't know why they still call it special K with strawberries, but, um, I'm on the second bag of this big box, so I've been uh, uh, I've been eating it off and on for about a month or so, and it gets soggy so quick, and which is why I try to put less milk in it. But it's like it's that sweet spot you got to find where it's like crunchy, but then you got like the milk with it and it kind of melds in your mouth. It just really quick, quickly turns to, well, I'm not gonna try that, I'm gonna pour it all over, but it just really quickly kind of turns to mush, which isn't my favorite thing in the world. I think maybe the ticket is like, 
several small bowls. Like maybe you scoop some with the spoon, pour a little milk into the spoon and eat it that way, or even just like take a handful, eat it, and then like take a sip of milk. That could be good. I remember in the old days, I would kind of like um, analyze the box. This one doesn't have a back of the cereal box, which is kind of unfortunate because as you know, y'all know, I love me a little, a little factoid, a little uh, amaze, uh, you know, a spot the difference. Give me some entertainment, you know? I mean, the cereal, it's like one half of the equation, but I'm munching on it, I need something to look at. Even like a R story. I'll take an R story all day long. But uh, Special K, they say, our best in every bite. Whole grain, first ingredient, no artificial colors or flavors. That's all they think you need to know. So, pretty good. Pretty good cereal. Overall, it's like, I mentioned this in one of the other episodes, like cereal these days, it can be a little too sweet for me. And... Um, I remember Special K. All right. All right, baby girl. Um, um, Special K was like a healthy cereal. You know, the, uh, it was like one that you could get your mom to buy you because um, it looks healthy. But it's like, it's like way sweeter than I remember. Uh, one cup has 11 grams of sugar. Added sugar is 10 grams. Jesus. So yeah, you got like 20 grams of sugar in a cup of this cereal. Knock it off with the fucking sugar, would ya? It doesn't need to be dessert. It's like, it's supposed to be breakfast. It doesn't say breakfast cereal, it just says cereal. But like, call me old fashioned, but I thought cereal was, you know, primarily for breakfast. And I guess some people like that. Some people like the, like, the sugar gets them going, but I like to take a cup of coffee and I like a salty, fatty, I like a, you know, like a greasy breakfast. So maybe they should make a greasy cereal. <laughs> um, yeah, like, why haven't they done that? Like a savory, like a bacon and eggs cereal. I don't know, think about it. Maybe it makes the milk taste like maple syrup or something. I'm just spitballing, I don't know. You, you know, run with it. Something I says inspires you to go out and make a, a savory breakfast cereal, do it. I'm not going to do it. I don't have time for that. I'm too busy eating special case cereal for your uh, viewing pleasure. So I like to take the little spoon and just like... Not to just slurp it. It's good. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like how to rate it. Sometimes I do like out of 10, I really need like a definitive point system. Like box, okay, let's just say, let's do it out of five. Like five cat, well, let's do like, hmm. Like box out of five, I'm gonna give it like a one. Cause it's like literally just a cereal. There's nothing special about it. It's just like a picture of the cereal. I don't know, personally, I think Kellogg's like, they, they could have, I guess it worked in that, you know, like it's effective in that it makes the cereal seem healthy when it's really not. But 
the lack of factoids, the lack of an hour story, the lack of a maze or a spot the difference. It's like, okay, it's just a literally just a box to hold the bag of cereal. So, one out of five. Uh, Sogability. I'm going to give it like a two out of five. It gets soggy almost immediately. I don't know anybody in the world who like prefers soggy cereal. I don't prefer overly dry and crunchy cereal, but I definitely don't like it this soggy. First couple bites are great. It really gets soggy quick. Two out of five. Overall flavor. I'll give it like a, like a three out of five. I don't want to go higher than that because there's a lot of cereals I like a lot more than Special K. So if we're just doing this out of five out of, instead of out of ten, which it's like if you can't do it out of five, what makes you think you can do it out of ten? It's just being like, it's just being like afraid to ruffle feathers, you know, and I'm not afraid to ruffle feathers in the cereal game. I don't, I could give a shit. In fact, I prefer to ruffle feathers. So three out of five, no Seven, six and a half out of ten. It's a three out of five. Sorry, Kellogg's. I think you'll be all right. So what is that? <clears throat> That's like six points. I feel like there's maybe a category I'm forgetting. The milk afterwards is good. It's just so sugary. I can't even finish it, honestly. I like already don't feel great just from the massive amounts of sugar in like one cup of the cereal. So they're getting dinged for that. I don't know. You know, not my favorite cereal, far from my least favorite cereal. Um, I mean, I did pick out a gigantic box at Costco, but that was after having not had it for several years. So I guess they kind of pulled one over on me, but uh, I'm happy to be eating it. I'm happy to be eating it for you. And um, I don't know, maybe I'll pick up some other cereals so we can keep on doing this thing because I'm having a good time. Are you having a good time? I hope you are. This has been Tom Orr with Beyond the Bull. See you later.